Hey guys, what's going on? Today we are taking it back to basics, which is kind of punny because I'm using a base today called Back to Basics from e.l.f., which I absolutely love, but if you couldn't tell already, we're doing this look right here, which is a very, very simple go-to bronzy eyeshadow look. This was absolutely my go-to back in the day, just a bronzy look to make my eyes look a little more blue. So I was thinking about like what I should do next, and I feel like on YouTube, there's always like the need to try something different and colorful and extravagant, and I think sometimes we get so caught up with that, we forget to just enhance like natural beauty and this used to be my go-to just like a bronzy look and bronzy uh, bronze all over basically to make my eyes pop like there's always like one feature that you kind of want to like enhance like your one feature and that for me was always my blue eyes I, I loved to enhance them so as a makeup artist when I would do someone's makeup you always kind of like hone in on like hey what's your favorite feature that you like is it your lips is it your cheekbones is it your eyes what is it and then you kind of enhance that one thing and I think a lot of times we forget about going back to basics like that in the time of 2018 in YouTube. I feel like there's so much competition to like do the next greatest colorful different look. You know what I mean? So I wanted to bring it back to basics today and just show you this really simple, as always, all my looks are really simple, bronzy, smoky eye. It obviously works for hooded eyes. So yeah, if you are interested in seeing how I got this look right here, I'm using a lot of different things. I'm, I'm not like consistently using one palette for this, but you totally could. There are so many palettes out there that have a number of bronze colors and bases and stuff like that. So please don't feel the need to go out and buy all of these products that I'm using. Use what you have in your makeup arsenal already and I am positive you will easily achieve this look. The one thing though I do suggest going to get are the e.l.f. smudge pots that I'm using because they are fire. So anyway, if you're interested in seeing how I got this look right here, which is hooded eyes friendly, but will also work if you don't have hooded eyes, go ahead and keep watching. So the first shadow I'm gonna take is Kid by MAC. It's this shade right here, which is just a really, really nice transition shade for me. I'm also gonna take a little bit of the Physician's Butter Bronzer later on to kind of add some depth to the crease, which I think everybody is familiar with the Physician's Formula. But we're gonna start with Kid, and with the Hooded Eyes technique, as always, I just kinda tilt my head back, feel for where my orbital bone is. I can like see the dark shadow of where the orbital bone is, and that's where I'm gonna kind of focus the shade, but I am also gonna take it directly to the inner corner, like right there, and I'm going to take it down onto the eye as well, just so there's a really nice transition. Now dipping into the Physician's Formula, I'm gonna just add a little of that. The best part to me about a smoky eye is you really don't have to be extremely precise because a bronzy smoky eye, I think it's a little more pretty when it's not so perfect. So again, just dipping into Kid, I'm going to start to work that on the lower lash, as w not lash, lower lid as well. And I'm going to smoke it down, really focusing kind of more in the middle. <laughs> I'm really gonna kind of smoke this down, focusing on the middle and bringing it down so my eyes look a little more round rather than smoke it really on the outer corner. If you bring it down a little further in the middle, it's gonna round out your eyes if you have more like almond shaped eyes like I do. And again, you don't have to be too precise. This is kind of just like the rough draft. To add a little bit more to that like round shape, I'm gonna take another MAC shade. This is ground brown, so it's just a matte darker brown. And on a really small pencil brush, this is a ColourPop like dome brush, I'm just gonna add a tiny, tiny bit once again to the middle area right here to round out those eyes. So I'm basically focusing it where like the iris of my eye is. Well, starting where the pupil is and kind of fading out to the iris. I'm just gonna blend. 
and I'm already having like itchy eyes. This one is starting to water, so I guarantee we're gonna have the same issue on this eye, so fair warning, it's gonna start to come off the corner of my eye, but what else is new on my channel at this point? All right, so let's go ahead and work on that upper lash line once again. So I'm gonna take this e.l.f. smudge pot in the color, what are you? Back to basics, looks like this. I love these smudge pots. I've done videos on this before. So easy to work with. If you just want an all over bronzy eye, this is literally all you need to apply. Blends out so nice with a fluffy brush and you can get out the door. I absolutely love it. But obviously we're going for a little more of a like deep look today. So what I'm gonna do is grab a flat brush. This is just a MAC 239 and I'm gonna dip right into there. I'm not using a synthetic brush. This is just a natural hairbrush, and I'm gonna start to work that from the lash line up, and I'm just gonna take off a little bit on the back of my hand so it's not too heavy. So we're gonna just really focus this on the actual lid, not really taking this above the lid. And this is just gonna provide a nice base for the shadow we're gonna put on top of it and kind of give a cool dimensional look to the like bronzy smoky eye. It's not just like one dimension since we have this color under it. Plus it's gonna make it pop, which is always nice. So again, just really focusing this from the lash line to where my actual crease of my eye is. Oh, I really don't wanna go too high into the orbital bone area. We will go up a little bit like we did here, but we'll do that with the color we're gonna go over with. So see how easy that is? And then just to make sure there's no like harsh lines with that, I'm actually not gonna take that brush quite yet. I'm gonna take the same brush that I was using before and just blend those edges. Those smudge pots are super cheap and they are so good. I have like a wine color as well that I love to use. See how pretty it is and like soft, oh, I love it. So the next shade we're gonna go into is from this MAC palette that I got for my birthday, it was from their like Christmas collection. It's this color right here, this bronzy shade. I have no idea what this color is, but it's just a really, really bronzy, dark, typical like smoky eyeshadow to me. And I love it, it's so gorgeous. So again, taking that same brush, let's keep things easy here. I'm gonna just work that right over where I applied that e.l.f. smudge pot. And then again with the fluffy wet and wild brush, just blend it. And this is when I'm gonna start to kind of kick it up a little past the natural like crease of my eye. When I do these like little circular motions, it's gonna kind of lift it a little above the crease, but I don't wanna go too high. And now with a clean brush, I'm gonna start to, this is, has nothing on it and it's a Morphe M502. I'm just gonna kind of blend a little bit more just so everything is nice and soft. And if you wanted to at this point, you could go in with that darker ground brown and really kind of smoke out the outer corner, but I don't wanna do that today. I just want like a nice bronzy wash of color on the eyes. All right, so again, with that pencil brush, I'm gonna dip slightly into the bronzy color from the MAC palette and work that starting here in the center because again, we're going for more of a round look. Bring it down and then over just to connect the upper with the lower. Taking that all the way in too. I mean, if this isn't one of the easiest eyeshadow looks ever and like classic will look good on pretty much everybody. I don't know what is. I'm gonna quickly go in with this Physicians Formula, what are you called? Shimmering Strips Custom Eye Enhancing Coal in the color Warm Nude Eyes and I'm just gonna quickly throw that in my like lower lash line area. Waterline, not lash line. One day I'll get these words right. <laughs> And then like I have a highlight in here, I'm gonna do it to this side. This is the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder in Precious Petals. Mine is all broken, but it's okay. I'm just gonna throw that on the inner corner to open up the eyes. This isn't necessary, but I like to do it. 
on pretty much every single look that I do. And that is pretty much it as far as eyeshadow goes. Really, really simple, just a basic bronzy, smoky eye. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the Too Faced Better Than Mascara. I'm gonna give my lashes a nice good curl and that's all I'm gonna do. I'm gonna apply like two or three coats of that because I think with a smoky eye like this, with false lashes and like a bronzy smoky eye, sometimes the look can get a little bit lost in the eyelashes. So I'm just really gonna build up these lashes with the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. All right, you guys, and that is it for this look. No fuss, bronzy, smoky eye. I really like this. It's super simple and it just kind of like takes it back to the basics, like a bronzy shade on the lids and then just an easy soft brown transition and I am loving it. I think it's fun to kind of take a step back sometimes and not get so like caught up in all the craziness of like extravagant looks on YouTube. Now, trust me, I love them. I think they're gorgeous. I think the artists who do them are super talented, but sometimes it's nice to just kind of take it back to basics. So if you're curious about any other makeup that I'm wearing today, I have everything listed in the below bar. If you have any questions at all, please let me know. Let me know what your old go-to look was. This was definitely a go-to look for me back in the day. And let me know if you still stick to it. So yeah, that is it for this one, you guys. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. It means the world to me. Otherwise, I hope to see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.